Did you know that certain edibles have the potential to intensify the symptoms of arthritis? A very warm welcome to our enlightening journey through the landscape of arthritis and the prominent part our diet has in managing this challenging condition. Arthritis is not just limited to sore joints or limited mobility, it's a multifaceted disorder influenced by a whole host of factors, diet being one of the essential ones. The food that we indulge in can either serve to ease the discomfort or, unfortunately, can amplify the inflammation that results in pain. Today, we'll be gently uncovering and discussing nine well-known foods that could have the unintended consequence of worsening arthritis symptoms. But fear not, we're not here to simply herald bad news. We'll also be kindly introducing healthier substitutes that can assist you in maintaining a well-rounded diet while managing your arthritis. If you're prepared to embrace a proactive stride towards improved health, do stick around as we carefully explore these nine foods and enlighten ourselves about their healthier alternatives. First on our list is sugar. Sugar, particularly processed sugar, is a known culprit in inflammation. When consumed in excess, it can cause a spike in blood sugar levels, triggering an inflammatory response in the body. For those living with arthritis, this inflammation can lead to an exacerbation of symptoms, making joint pain and stiffness even more pronounced. Now, this doesn't mean you have to give up sweetness altogether. There are plenty of natural alternatives to processed sugars that can satisfy your sweet tooth without wreaking havoc on your joints. For example, honey and maple syrup are two natural sweeteners that, when used in moderation, can be part of a balanced diet. Fruits, too, can serve as a healthier source of sweetness. They are packed with essential vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants that can help combat inflammation rather than fuel it. So the next time you're reaching for a sugary snack or drink, consider opting for a piece of fresh fruit or a homemade smoothie instead. Consider cutting back on processed sugars for a healthier lifestyle. Next up, we have saturated fats. Now these are typically found in foods like red meat and full-fat dairy products. But here's the catch. They're not really your friends when it comes to arthritis. You see, foods high in saturated fats can trigger inflammation, adding fuel to the already inflamed joints of those suffering from arthritis. This inflammation can intensify the pain and discomfort associated with the condition. So, what's the solution here? Well, it's all about making smarter choices when it comes to your diet. Instead of reaching for that juicy steak or creamy whole milk, consider opting for lean protein sources like chicken or fish. And when it comes to dairy, low-fat alternatives can provide the nutrients you need without the extra saturated fats. Making these simple swaps in your diet can help control inflammation and thus manage your arthritis symptoms more effectively. So the next time you're at the grocery store, remember, lean proteins and low-fat dairy are the way to go. Ditching saturated fats could make a big difference in managing your symptoms. Ever thought about the impact of refined carbohydrates and processed foods on your arthritis? You might be surprised to know that these common food items could be contributing to your discomfort. Refined carbohydrates like white bread, pasta, and rice undergo a process that strips away the grain's outer layers, removing much of its fiber and nutrients. Not only does this leave you with a less nutritious food, but it also changes the way your body digests it. These refined carbs can cause spikes in your blood sugar levels, leading to inflammation, which can worsen arthritis symptoms. Now let's talk about processed foods. These are foods that have been altered from their natural state for convenience, longevity, or taste. They often contain unhealthy additives and preservatives. Ever noticed how a bag of chips can last for months on the shelf without going bad? That's thanks to a cocktail of preservatives. Unfortunately, these additives can aggravate inflammation in your body, exacerbating arthritis symptoms. So, what's the solution? Well, making the switch to whole grains can be a great start. Foods like quinoa, brown rice, and whole grain bread are packed with fiber and are digested slowly, preventing those sudden spikes in blood sugar. They also contain important nutrients like magnesium and vitamin B, which are often lost in the refining process. As for processed foods, try to stick to whole, natural foods whenever possible. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats should make up the bulk of your diet. They're not only nutritious, but also lack the additives found in processed foods that can trigger inflammation. Making these changes isn't always easy, but it's worth it. Remember, each small change you make can add up over time, leading to significant improvements in your health and well-being. Choosing whole foods over processed ones is a simple step towards better health. So the next time you're in the grocery store, think twice before reaching for that white bread or bag of chips. 
your joints will thank you. Let's talk about alcohol and nightshade vegetables. These two can be quite tricky when it comes to managing arthritis symptoms. Alcohol, for instance, can be a double-edged sword. In moderate amounts, it has been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease and even some types of arthritis. However, excessive alcohol consumption is a different story. It can lead to inflammation and dehydration, both of which can make arthritis symptoms more pronounced. It's therefore important to drink alcohol in moderation, or consider abstaining altogether, especially if you notice an increase in your symptoms after drinking. Now onto nightshade vegetables. This group includes tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes. They're packed with nutrients and are a staple in many diets, but for some individuals with arthritis, they can be a pain trigger. This is because nightshades contain a compound called solanine, which some people believe might cause inflammation in the body. However, it's worth noting that this theory isn't supported by all experts, and many people with arthritis can enjoy these vegetables without any issues. So, how should you approach alcohol and nightshade vegetables if you have arthritis? The key is to listen to your body. If you notice that your symptoms get worse after consuming alcohol or eating nightshade vegetables, it might be worth reducing your intake or avoiding them altogether. On the other hand, if you don't notice any changes, then there's likely no need to eliminate these from your diet. Remember, diet is a personal thing. What works for one person might not work for another. So, it's important to pay attention to how your body reacts to different foods and adjust your diet accordingly. Listening to your body's response to these foods is crucial in managing your arthritis. After all, you are the best judge of what makes your body feel good and what doesn't. Lastly, we have dairy products, gluten, and artificial additives. Dairy, while a fantastic source of calcium and other nutrients, can potentially contribute to inflammation in some individuals. This is particularly true for those who have a sensitivity or intolerance to lactose, the sugar found in milk and other dairy products. If you find that dairy worsens your arthritis symptoms, consider alternatives like almond milk, soy yogurt, or other non-dairy substitutes. Next up is gluten. Now this is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. While not everyone with arthritis needs to avoid gluten, those with a gluten sensitivity or celiac disease certainly should. Consuming gluten when you are sensitive or intolerant can trigger an inflammatory response, which may worsen arthritis symptoms. A gluten-free diet might provide relief, but it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant dietary changes. Lastly, artificial additives. These are substances added to foods to improve their taste, appearance, or shelf life. They include artificial sweeteners, flavorings, and colorings. While they make foods more appealing, they can have a negative impact on your overall health and may exacerbate arthritis symptoms. It's essential to read food labels carefully and choose products with minimal additives. It's all about balance and moderation. By making informed food choices, you can take control of your arthritis symptoms. It's important to remember that everyone's body is different, and what works for one might not work for another. So, pay attention to your body's response to different foods and adjust accordingly. By doing so, you're not just managing your arthritis, you're also taking a significant step towards overall wellness. By making informed food choices, you can take control of your arthritis symptoms. As we wrap up, Remember that everyone's body is different. What works for one person may not work for all. The key is to listen to your body and observe how it reacts to the food you consume. It's not about a one-size-fits-all diet, but rather about discovering what works best for you. It's worth experimenting with eliminating these foods from your diet. Processed sugars, saturated fats, refined carbohydrates, processed foods, alcohol, nightshade vegetables, dairy products, gluten, and artificial additives. Observe any changes in your arthritis symptoms. You might just find that a simple dietary change can make a world of difference in managing your discomfort. And remember, it's always wise to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet. They can provide personalized advice based on your health history and current condition. So, take control of your arthritis. Don't let it control you. Try eliminating these foods from your diet and observe any changes in your symptoms. And most importantly, Remember that you're not alone on this journey. If you found this video helpful, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with others who might benefit from this information. And while you're at it, why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? We've got plenty more helpful tips and advice coming your way. Until next time, stay strong and stay positive.